I'm feeling a little prehistoric today, so let's go explore. Welcome to this edition of Thingy Finds, where we explore the unexplored universe of the Thingiverse. Uh, today we're going to take a look at this. This is a Velociraptor business card. I mean, how can you go wrong? Dinosaurs and business cards, right? So, uh, magical combination, especially if you have grandkids or kids. And so, uh, I want to take a look at this. Uh, it looks like the developer, Cleveland, up here did uh, a pretty good job designing this. A uh, good number of pieces and it looks like a couple different versions. You even have a little build video here and um, even you can modify it uh, to put a logo or something else on. If you do, I definitely suggest uh, donating. He's got a little PayPal link here, so uh, uh, looks like he's put a lot of work in this, so I'd respect that uh, if you're going to use it for that. Now here we see another picture of the card, and so again, it's got these attachments here. Uh, I also think this might make great stocking stuffers or great, uh, you know, gifts for the kids, etc. And so, uh, a couple of things to note here, though, he mentioned something about adding a tail, and I think this is the problem. I think you see one here with the normal tail and one with the extended tail who happens to stand up a little bit better. So uh, I think that's one we're going to go for. Uh, the other thing I want to point out here is he's also included an assembly file. I think this is probably going to be pretty handy. Uh, it says match match the numbers match the numbers assembly referencing assembly. Symbol referencing assembly. Okay, um, I think uh, it means kind of go in order one, two, three, four, five. So uh, uh, we'll see when we get to the bench and actually build it. In the background, you might hear we're we're actually printing it out already. But uh, I want to take a look, real quick, look at some files we get with it. So we we get a sort of a build PDF here, uh, and we also get a couple different files. We're going to do the final card mirror, and I've got it loaded up in in uh, Cura here, and here's what we see. And we're going to print it on the Monoprice Select Mini, a uh, great little printer. And you see uh, it takes up pretty much most of the bed, but uh, fits nicely, so no issues there. Uh, and it's going to be about 40 minutes at about 0.75 me uh, meters of plastic. I am going to print this at about a 2.2 uh, sorry, layer height because um, I kind of want to clean it. It's pretty much going to come out solid because it is uh, so thin if we take a look here. So... Uh, it should be rather interesting. Now, what I've done is I've already loaded this back into Octoprint and Cure, and you can see here on the screen um, it's already printing out. So, pretty interesting print so far. Uh, initially, when I kicked off the print, um, there's some pretty small pieces on there, so you don't want the printer, I'm going to suggest, to go very fast. And this is one of the reasons. Uh, if you notice, I've got it turned down to about 30, 30, meters, 30 millimeters a second. I'll spit that one out here. It's a little bit early. So, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to print this out. So we're going to see over at the bench, and when we get to the bench, I'll throw up a time lapse in the corner. And we'll actually cut this out, and we'll see how easy it is to assemble. So see you over at the bench. Welcome back to Thingy Find. So uh, we printed these out. Actually, I printed a couple of them out, uh, as well as a copy of the JPEG for um, the assembly uh, instructions. Before I get there, I want to do a couple different things. And one is there are three basic tools you'll need for a lot of these projects. One are these clippers. Now, one of the things I highly recommend these clippers and why these particular ones is because it allows us to get right to the edge. And we'll use these to clip these off and get a clean edge. The other piece we're going to use is a very nice um, X-Acto knife, so it's good to have a good sharp X-Acto knife with a very comfortable handle, and we'll utilize this one to trim this off. And this is a little bit different than your normal because, again, the way that this uh, handle grips, it's more for an artisan, so it allows you to uh, grip it to get it into tighter corners as we go to clean this out. So um, this is an important one. And while this one we probably really won't use today, this is a plastic cleanup tool that allows you to run in between to kind of clean up the pieces. Um, this is typically for larger pieces. So I'll have links to these down below um, if you're interested. Because uh, again, very handy uh, set of basic tools for finishing 3D parts. And we're going to do a lot of that on Thingifines. So getting back to this though, 
Um, this printed out actually pretty good. And what I wanted to do is do a couple measurements so you can know what to expect. And the thickness uh, was, they were rather thin, uh, a little bit thinner than I thought, about 1.3 millimeters. So um, that was actually pretty thin. Now, uh, one of the things I want to also um, give a measurement of size here. So this is about 100 millimeters by roughly 60, a little over 60 millimeters in, in uh, size. So about 100, about 65, uh, about, what was that, 1.3 I think I said. Um, about 1.13 here, I'm sure as I check different, about 1.4 there. So uh, a little short of uh, one and a half millimeters, so very, very thin. So. Uh, Anyways, tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to switch to a little bit of a time lapse as I cut this out, so I'm not going to bore you with this, but you can watch how I cut this out, and then we'll take a look at the assembly. Well, this is a bit more complicated, it seems, than a Rubik's Cube. So uh, I actually had to go get the iPad and be able to zoom, up, uh, zoom in on the pieces as the iPad falls apart here to be able to uh, sort of understand what comes apart because some of the pieces um, in here, especially as they connect down through here, look like they all blend together. So I had to go to the diagram, which I also have here, to kind of understand a little bit better how the pieces uh, come together or, or actually come apart. So now I pretty much have all the pieces cut out and, and um, for the most part fairly cleaned up. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more job. This is guy, I just noticed this guy's got a little toe jam stuck in there. I gotta get out. Um, but again, you can kind of see where these snippers, because they get so tight, really come in versus regular uh, clippers or wire cutters so uh, very nice so uh, now I just need to figure out uh, how this goes together I'm assuming that there's certain pieces that are his backbone because as you see here I'm not sure if the, the glare of the light so there's actually four pieces to the head uh, uh, and then it comes into some sort of spinal section and then everything sort of hangs off that and then we have the, uh, obviously these are the back legs, well these are the front legs, so I put those together. So back legs, front legs. Uh, and these are sort of the, sort of the rib caging in there. And I'm assuming that um, this is going to be the forward one because I think this is where the arms actually, these arms hang off this. And so, uh, Let's see if we can figure this out. Um, the only thing I'm really... So this must go up like this for the head to clip on. Um, and then in the back here... Just trying to figure out how the tail section would go on. So because I think this guy is going to go on here like this. Okay, so what I figured out so far is it kind of goes together in pieces. Now, one of the things I've had to use is uh, super glue or crazy glue because uh, it just hasn't been holding. It kind of falls apart. So um, I've kind of assembled the legs and the pelvis, and then actually I've glued this one up where I've assembled the head and then attached it to the spine. So the, the jaws and the um, upper part of the jaws, I guess, or head go together. And then these rib cages. Uh, go together, but even in the picture, it's kind of hard to get them to space space apart properly here. So now, apparently, this is going to go down, and once this dries down here like this, and then um, 
this section is going to go on here or something like that. I haven't quite figured that piece out. So I've got some extra pieces. I'm not sure exactly how they go, but I think they're going to fit into this piece. So um, I'm going to have to see how that plays out. Well, after about 45 minutes of attempting to assemble this, this is what I've gotten. Now, I cannot figure out for the life of me how this piece goes on. It seems that it's part of the pelvis. And he does stand up. I believe it goes somewhere down here, but I have absolutely no idea how it attaches. And there's no good image of the back side of this on the website. But um, I think this is pretty close. Now, the one thing I was going to do is assemble this with... Uh, the reason I printed out the other one is I was going to assemble with my six-year-old grandson. But I tell you what, um, I'm not sure I'd give this to a six-year-old to assemble. Well, maybe I could be wrong. A 54-year-old... Um, took 45 minutes roughly to assemble it and I did have to use glue to get it to to really stick because some of the pieces would hold sometimes and then they'd pop off and things like that but um, uh, you can assemble it and it's a bit more work and again one of the pieces that was kind of difficult is uh, understanding which if pieces were joined together, so for example, you maybe see this, it's not really clear that these pieces are separate. You kind of think, but this is a he pretty heavy connection piece between the two, and same as here. Um, would be also nice to kind of see a little bit better picture of how um, this goes together, because again, I'm not sure I got this 110% right, but it's, it's pretty close. It stands up like the instructions say. Um, the only thing is, is I have no idea where this goes because this also looks like it's got two pieces that come down. I thought this was originally for the legs. And again, it does show it something like this down here in the bottom. Um, but hey, for the life of me. So, but anyways, hey, if you're interested in building this, I'll put the link below. If you got any questions or you'd like me to explore something else on Thingiverse um, that you're interested in, just let me know, and I'll be happy to take a look, and we'll print it out. We'll see about building it. We'll see how it goes, and uh, I'll tell you if it's easy, hard. Uh, this one, I would definitely make this an in intermediate or above. This is not a basic. I think if you're looking for something in the card genre, which I'll do some other ones, um, this one is on the more difficult side, and especially because... I think some of the layout isn't isn't intuitive. I guess if I was in, uh, an archaeologist or something and knew how a Velociraptor went together, I would have a little bit easier time, but I'm not. So, uh, hey, anyways, hopefully you found it interesting. Hit the like button, subscribe. We'll be putting these out on a regular basis, as I've already mentioned. Comment below if you'd like something you'd like us to explore, and see you in the next video. Cheers. To discover more, please be sure to subscribe as well as share with your friends. Also don't forget to leave a comment below if there is a specific corner you would like us to explore.